What's up, YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest, coming to you live on December 30th, 2018, from Springfield, Missouri. I'm actually on vacation visiting some family, and uh, that's why this video got posted late uh, for Crash of the Titans, which we're going to get to in just a moment. Um, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, if you like what you see, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It does help us continue to grow the online community here on, Mar on YouTube for Marvel Puzzle Quest. And we are giving away a $25 gift card when we get to 500 subscribers. If we can pull that off in the next mm, 48 hours uh, or so, I guess 24 hours at this point, by December 31st, uh, midnight, uh, we will double that reward to uh, two twenty-five dollar gift cards, and we're about mm, four hundred and sixty and some change. Not quite four seventy yet, um, but you know, if we get like a new subscriber every hour or so between now and then, I think we can make that goal and make that happen. Um, and anyways, wanted to talk uh, quickly about Twelve Days of Marvel. Um, the rewards for this, if you haven't seen, is going to be. Uh, at the end, you can get uh, Bishop and Taskmaster, uh, as well as Captain uh, Captain America, Peggy Carter. So pretty good rewards there. I have a, a couple days to catch up on as well. And I do have the ability to get Peter Porker, uh, Spider-Ham. So we'll be doing that at the end of this video after Crash the Titans, but that is what we're here for. So Deadpool's daily quest, you know, uh, resets every day with Crash of the Titans resetting once every five day cycle. And you can check the Heroes for Hire store. Uh, still have uh, Riri and Coulson package there. Iceman, the required character for this series, featured five star Star-Lord. And next cycle up will be Dazzler, who I am not quite as excited for because she is still severely undercovered in comparison to the rest of my four star roster. And in Deadpool's Daily Quest, if you hit Recruit Heroes, it takes you straight to the Taco Vault. You can see there's another chance for Iceman as well as a uh, four-star Gamora cover. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we don't. <clears throat> so in the bottom right-hand corner, you see the Jean Grey symbol, actually, for Behemoth Burrito and uh, Crash of the Titans. But the Extreme Node says uh, we are doing another Iceman versus Jean Grey again. We just did this fight literally like two cycles ago. Um, so not much is going to change. Uh, I'll skip most of the details as we went through this before. Um, they have three of the same colors, uh, don't make match fives. And uh, yeah, basically uh, for completion, we get 22,000 taco points, which is full progression rewards, but not the individual node completion rewards. And flashing in the bottom right hand corner is a latest Legends recruit token. My ice man is champed. He's at 281, pretty good level. Uh, 14,601 health, a 553 build. And basically, we're going to hope to get the stun and deal a lot of damage. If you make match fives against Jean Grey, she does stun with her blue for uh, two turns and destroys uh, AP and strongest color by six plus deals damage so don't make match fives unless she's stunned if you need to add boosts uh, you can do so here but make sure you turn it off before your next fight or they will stay active all right so we're going to start with blue Remember this and we'll do that Normally, I like to save the stun for once I have 12 blue AP because you can deal that extra damage right off the bat from Punch a Snowman. Um, but also can use it for an opportune time when you are about to make a match five. You can stun at that point uh, in order to prevent taking that extra damage and the stun yourself. Hmm. 
beautiful. So it's okay for her to match blue because that does not, uh, it's not one of her active abilities, it's a passive. I'm gonna steal that purple. And that blue. Okay, so now we can stun. And then we can do this. And that's gonna deal 83.34. So we're actually going to pause that thought for just a moment. I'm gonna keep matching while she's stunned. Again, deal that damage. Probably could have done that last round. Should have. Uh, that's okay. We'll do that. All right, and then that is gonna do it. So we got lucky with the board, first run, no boost needed, got a latest legends token, and since that was such a smooth and easy fight, pretty much how it went the last time, we got our daily reward, we're going to go back and do shield training to get that Peter Porker cover, uh, each Character has to be at least 209. Coulson is the only one that is not championed, uh, but these guys are well above their power level required. We have Mordo, uh, Thing, and Star Lord <clears throat> as opponents. So basically, we want to take Thing out first because if you deal too much damage to any teammates, he will. Also, uh, create some shield tiles. Let's see. I'm try to get as many of these black tiles as we can for Ghost Rider. This, of course, Mordo is collecting black tiles as well. makes these four center tiles turn into red charge tiles. That's going to give us a critical because these two line up exactly with the center piece. So that's perfect. Beautiful. This deals 53.74 to non-target enemies or 10,748 if there are no other targets. Uh, so, let's do this. Let's do this. him out. Take him out. Send him 
airborne. one again. Hmm. Red. Let's see for purple. And that. Get another crit. And about 100% overkill, but that is a very nice end to the fight there. <clears throat> So we got the new four star wind pigs fly. We need to go to roster. Actually, before we do that, we're going to go to recruit heroes, latest legends. We have one in 20 chance for bonus heroes, one in seven odds for Loki, Kitty Pride, or Cable. We'll go ahead and just pull that five star right there. Uh, Loki's green, destroy everything. Beautiful. Love to get those four stars. Oh, wrong button. There we go. So we can actually train that ability up to level two. Fortified three turn green repeater destroys a random row and deals damage to the enemy team. Um, at level five, that is still a fortified three turn repeater, but the damage increases quite a bit. So he's a 4 2 2 build. Get in there. We're going to recruit Spider Hand. Plenty of HP to do that. And let's just add in some of these extra covers that we got unlocked. <laughs> got that, and the rest are two stars. All right, so. With Spider Ham being added to the roster. The only four star I don't have is Domino. Still. Uh, when Pigs Fly, so that is his blue ability for 12 AP cost. Creates a blue three turn countdown tile, dealing damage to a random enemy. And uh, while this is on the board, it sends him airborne. Um, the tile continues to stick down even if he becomes stunned and costs one. Fewer AP for each member of Sinister Six on the enemy team. So this is uh, much more damage. You know, 991 all the way up to level 5 is 6, uh, 6,631 to a random enemy. So uh, obviously it would be great to increase this ability as soon as possible. And that is it for that. So we got that... Let's try to get his individual training against Red Hulk. Of course, it's going to be a challenge, um, except for the fact that he goes airborne. Uh, same colors, purple, blue, yellow. As long as you don't trigger too much damage to set off Hulk's seeing red ability which at this level is going to be very difficult to do. That might do it. Um, as soon as the words left my mouth, of course it happened. for me does not affect anything but of course it does give him a boost hmm 
Deals 991 damage. Uh, yeah, so let's deal a little bit more before we go airborne. Bing bada boom. So of course if you haven't seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, I highly recommend it if you're into Spider-Man uh, movies. It is produced by Sony, not MCU uh, canon, but it is a fantastic movie. Uh, definitely worth a watch. Of course I need more Spider-Man covers, Spider-Ham covers, to continue with individual training, but I think that is going to be it for this video. We've done three uh awesome events already and we got a five star out of this video um i guess since we're all here we can finish the new year with a new champ since i probably will not get to do another video between now and uh the new year oh two five stars out of this video. How about them apples? Um, was not expecting that, but I'll take it. So Smoldering Fire goes to level two for my five star Thor. He's a one one two build. He's getting there. But what I was thinking actually was doing, if I can get there, the heroes for hire. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this package. So 7,000 hero points uh, to get some extra Coulson covers, command points, and a Riri. And then let's make Coulson um, a champ as well. So we're gonna max champ and overview, or as I like to call it, macho time with Agent Coulson. Riri goes up to 279, latest legends waiting on her. To be champ uh, for her to get one more champion level, and then Coulson, who is at 209, uh, there. We're going to level him up, promote to champion, and you don't need extra covers to do that, but um, it does help to get that legendary token. Agent Coulson's are really good for creating uh, lots of countdown tiles. There are lots of abilities that depend on this. Um, he has a great passive ability to steal a uh, or generate random AP, and then also uh, deals damage whenever an ally uses an ability with that one turn countdown tile. Uh, you can steal AP. You can charge and swap, as we saw in that. Uh, event as well so he's very useful and we are going to go back to that latest legend store now that we have another token and hey we got prowler so that is on the prowl his purple cover also from spider-man into the spider-verse uh, which a lot of people were just like hey it's purple deadpool but he's actually a major part in the movie of spider-man into the spider-verse which just recently came out um, in theaters, so I don't know why more people didn't make that connection, but uh, surely he is a big part of the Miles Morales origin story and uh, in the comics, so we can add in that four star cover as well. His passive purple ability, do 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 do, do. he's a 2 1 1. Perfect, so all in all, a great video with two five star rewards. And uh, some four stars that are really needed. We got a new champion, I believe four star champion number 48. Um, I think I said 48 in the video a couple videos back, but it was still 47. This is actually 48. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, like this video. You can subscribe for more uh, notifications when content becomes posted to the channel. And then until next time, as always, this has been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios, amigos. Have a happy new year. Please be safe uh, going out and about. If you are celebrating, do not drink and drive. Um, that's just not a smart thing to do. And um, just be safe and enjoy your time with friends and family, wherever you may be. All right, that's it for my public service announcement on New Year's Eve. And uh, I will see you guys soon in the next video.